Oh, fat shaming, fat shaming. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna watch Anastasia Pants What I Eat in a Day. It is a vegan OMAD. That means one meal a day. Before we start the video, I would like to start reading her description box. This is not a diet, but a lifestyle. I do not restrict and eat how much I want. I enjoy this way of eating, not saying I will do this forever, but this is what I have been doing for a couple of months now. I'm also not a professional, so I'm not saying this is right or that you have to do this. So that is great. She has a disclaimer in the description box. It is not a recommendation to eat like her. However, if this is truly a lifestyle and if she does not restrict, we will see now. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I just want to say that... Why? When did society become this? Why do we have to start our videos fake? Why do we need fake enthusiasm? Fake silliness? For what? Why can't you just represent who you are? Uh, this video is a what I eat in a day video and... Uh, it's basically only one clip because I do OMAD. OMAD is one meal a day fasting type diet, not diet, guys, not diet, sorry, lifestyle. Um, <laughs> sure. You do not, you, can, you don't restrict your calories or what you eat. I eat everything. I choose mm -hmm. to eat plant-based vegan because it's kind of my lifestyle mm. and um, kind of. it's pretty healthy. Before we continue with this, it is really important to realize that the vegan diet is already a fasting mimicking state. It is not a diet at all. It is just an intervention which mimics fasting. If you combine real fasting, real starvation of 24 hours with one vegan meal, you are in a world of suffering. This means you are practically fasting all day long. Healthy for you, so that's what I choose to eat. Uh, and I choose to eat at the end of the day, at the end of the day from my OMAD because it's kind of like a rewarding meal for me. And I just love to eat before at dinner time. And I love the like more empty feeling during the day because then I could kind of <laughs> First of all, I'm not bloated then because it's like, well, I haven't eaten anything, so it's kind of like... Uh, okay, but if you would eat only meat on a carnivorous diet, for example, you wouldn't be bloated to begin with. So this is a tip for you in case you're watching. If you would eat a carnivorous diet or a low-fiber diet, not a plant-based diet, that is, you wouldn't be bloated at all. And that means you could evenly eat throughout the day as much as you want, and more importantly, as much as you need. I don't know. I can't really explain it. Like more like you're usually like um I know that you can't explain it. It's just a nice feeling throughout the day. You're describing the feeling when you don't have fiber in your gut. If you would eat a steak or raw sashimi, you wouldn't have any problems. Um, and so I only have one meal a day, but I decided to uh -huh. do a clip on that and what I eat in my one meal a day so you guys can yes. see that I don't restrict and I usually have a variety of different stuff of what I want, whatever I want. Sometimes it's more less options, like sometimes it could be like this and this and then sometimes it could be like this and this and this and this and this and this and a ton of different options I can have. It kind of depends on my mood and what I want, the weather. Depends on the level of starvation you mean. Weather, uh, all this other stuff. Um, so yeah, sometimes I eat a little bit more, sometimes I eat a little bit less. It's like oh. it's like a regular meal like you would have, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, but it's just one meal. I eat all my calories in one sitting and like... Okay, what is it? Is it breakfast, lunch and dinner or is it one meal? For, for We're about to find out. You sometimes, you know, you overeat or under eat breakfast or lunch and dinner. Same thing here. Nope. Sometimes I overeat my one meal a day. So the next day I might be more hungry and I wait until my meal again and eat more than the day before. This is so or sad. the opposite, if I ate too much and For I'm what? kind of feeling like, whoa, I feel like I ate too much, then I might have a little bit less. So it's kind of just like regular meals. Um, I With veganism, you already set yourself up for an eating disorder. You already set yourself up for binging. However, if you combine this with one meal a day, now you will truly starve. This is an eating disorder. I am in tune because I still feel hunger or not. 
And it's weird because I train my body to be hungry at that time because with OMAD, <laughs> like scientific studies and stuff, you could, you're could you used to a certain thing. And for example, if you're- Scientific studies and stuff. This is pure veganism. Scientific studies and stuff. Uh, that scientific uh, study. Which one? pointed out fact of the matter is you do not care about scientific studies you do not even comprehend those scientific studies and you cannot time your body yes of course we will get used to certain things that we do throughout the day however if your body needs food and nutrients your body will cry out therefore you will be hungry you can then say or just the ghrelin hormone. I saw it. Science explained hunger. I'm just hungry because of ghrelin. In real life, I'm not even hungry. You cannot trick your biology. You are starving. Used to eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, you're gonna get automatically hungry at those times. For me now, I don't, I'm not hungry now. I'm not hungry at lunch time. I'm literally hungry. As soon as it hits about that time, I get hungry and I usually eat about I don't 9 believe o'clock you. till 10, 11, depending on when I'm done with my day, my job, everything I'm done. I come home, take a shower, eat and go to bed. I guarantee you, your co-workers hate you. You're the most agitated person in the room. I get hungry at a specific time. Point out the 9, vegan, 10, please. Um, and then it's just it's just interesting pattern that I found. And let me know if you want to know more about like OMAD and what I do and what I eat and stuff like that. And yeah, enjoy the video or clip. So I had some baked potatoes here as well as mini pizzas with like veggies on it. Carb made. overload. What is this even? Do you want to insult the Italians? How is this a pizza? I'm going to assume that this is made out of polenta, maybe flax seeds. I really do not know. It obviously does not look like a regular pizza. Um, and I made a video vet recipe of that and I will post soon. I also had some uh, veggies, stir fry, uh, but without oil, bloating. Like mushroom, carrot, zucchini. Um, and then that's the pizza I made, which I actually made a video on how to One make more and I'll pizza. be posting soon. Uh, I had this tea, they usually have it with- All right, wait a second. Isn't it called one meal per day? What you are doing is take the whole day and stuff it into an eating window. That is not one meal per day. My dinner is just a relaxing <laughs> tea, like chamomile or something uh, to kind of relax me before bed. Jesus and Christ. And plus it was chilly outside, so it was nice. What and is that? I made this cranberry blueberry uh, jam as well as this oatmeal, what? just plain a uh, quick, quicker oatmeal and some uh, fruit um, bananas. And I'm not sure what they're called, but those are really good. <laughs> and then I had some soup, which I also what? made a recipe video on. And then some what am I watching? with onion, tomato, lettuce, stuff like that. <laughs> and that was pretty much all my dinner. Um, oh, pretty much. It was pretty good. You and sure? And I'll make That's more all? recipe videos soon. All right, guys. Clear case of eating disorder. What do we see here? We see a girl that eats a whole week worth of food in one meal per day, a so-called one meal per day. Absolutely ridiculous. So how does that make sense from any standpoint? Under no dietary regimen does this make sense. This is an eating disorder. If you're eating one meal per day, let's take Michaela Peterson. She eats one big fat steak in one meal. That truly is one meal. What you are doing is starve the whole day for no apparent reason. And then you stuff all the calories into an eating window of an hour or two. Why do you do that? Don't you understand that in the end it will boil down to calories in, calories out. So now if you eat food for a whole week in one hour, you are overeating. And this is why you're not in tip top shape. Oh, fat shaming, fat shaming. No, it's not fat shaming. This is pointing out that you have an eating disorder, which clearly doesn't work for you. You're a young girl. As so many young girls, probably you are obsessed with weight loss. This is why you starve yourself the whole damn day. But what are you getting out of it? Where are the results? You are not eating the whole day and then you're binging the whole night alone and then you go to bed bloated, 
fart the whole night, take a massive dump in the morning and recover the whole day from that escapade from last night. This is an eating disorder. Ah, uh, look at her go. Why? Jesus Christ. Obviously, I already have the answer to why. As I said in the beginning, you feel bloated as you admit it yourself and therefore you're looking for a loophole within the plant-based realm. What can I do? Every time I eat, I feel like shit, but I am so hungry. What to do? What to do? Simple, don't eat, whole day, feel even more stuffed at night and then binge. Always the same. Wow. And the food looks so disgusting. Blah. This is your life. This is your life. Alone in front of the computer, filming yourself, eating a ton of so-called food. For what? Ah. Oh. This is disgusting. Absolutely repulsive. And now think about it. If that would be animal food, let's assume the same quantity. Steaks, sausages, meatballs, chicken thighs, ribs and whatnot. No chance in hell would you eat that every single day. We see how one meal per day looks like on a carnivore diet. Yes, I've seen people eating two or three steaks. But nobody sits there and eats 10 plates worth of food because your body recognizes it as food. In your case, your body doesn't know what's up. Your body doesn't understand. You can stuff as much cellulose as you want into your pie hole and you still won't feel satisfied. Oh, Jesus. This is so repulsive. Imagine the digestive upset. You don't have to be a scientist to understand this. Nobody can digest this. Not even competitive eaters. It's impossible. Salad, veggies, corn, pizza, why? And it's just carbs. You still didn't get any vitamins. Do you realize that? No omega-3s, nothing, no protein. Jesus Christ. She's so hungry, starved out of her mind. She's mentally ill. This is what we see, an eating disorder glorified on social media. Always the same. This is socially acceptable. Do it! Yes! Starve yourself, please! For the animals. For YouTube. Uh, okay, I think we've seen enough. Yes, this is what you crave. The apple. Give me more fruit on top of veggies. I want more. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I get IBS just looking at this. I get SIBO. What is that? But why though? Look her stuffing herself. Does she look happy? Look at this. Is this happiness? Is this joy? What is this? Before eating. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> why? Wait a second. I have to rewind this. Yes. That looks like a barrel. That looks like a damn barrel. All that fiber will destroy your ass. Why do you do this? What the? Hope you guys enjoyed the what I eat in a day. Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> let me know if you want to see more. Let me know if you no. think it was interesting. It was um, interesting, yes. It was one meal, but it was a lot of food and it was good. It was no, it wasn't one meal. How does this qualify as one meal? I can't believe that I have to point this out.
Obviously, it is not one meal. You sat down at a table. You had one time frame. That is true. And you ate 1000 meals. That pizza I made for my video and that soup that I made at my video on one of my videos recipe. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope that was helpful. A lot of you guys want to see no. what I eat. So there you go. And okay. yeah, let me know more about what you want to see and what you guys want to know. <laughs> I want to know why you do that to yourself. That's all I want to know. Yes. I love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed. You love Have me? Have a good day. Thank and you. And bye. Bye. See you. All right. This is it. As always, we are left with more questions. Why do you do that to yourself? And of course, you will live up to the day when you regret those videos. Look at you. What is this? Posing in front of the camera, showing how bloated you are. Now it is all fun and games. You're still young. Your body still can get away with it. When you get older, you will end up permanently damaged. Why do you do this to yourself? Being older than you, I feel the responsibility to clarify what went wrong. First and foremost, this was not one meal per day, as I said a billion times. What you did is round about three days in one day. Like this, you won't lose weight. That is impossible. Calories in, calories out. You would be much better off to spread that food throughout the day you would feel much better. However, because it is vegan food, that is mistake number two, you still wouldn't feel optimal, of course, because like you recognize yourself, you will feel bloated. Why do you feel bloated? Because of the fiber. That food, food is not digestible. Therefore, you feel bloated. How about you start your day with scrambled eggs? Then at lunch, you might have some salmon filet. And then at night, you can have a bigger meal if you choose to do so. That wraps it up. That is healthier. That is less calories. That is less insulin secretion. Every time you eat carbs, you secrete a ton of insulin, especially in your case. You just munch down on a kilogram of carbohydrates. And mistake number three, that food is not nutritionally dense. Quite the opposite, it is void of nutrition. You're lacking B12, you're lacking vitamin D3, DHA, EPA, creatine, carnosine, and whatnot. Of course, valuable cholesterol as well. I know that vegans do not get that concept. So now you end up in a malnourished micro state, but in an overfeeding macro state. And you end up sick looking and bloated. For what? For the animals? You're killing more animals with all that plant food. Look into it, it is all on this channel. Vegans kill more animals. Fact. It is a fact that you cannot debunk. Health-wise, do you really need to say anything? And environmentally speaking, you are destroying habitats. Please, do not do that to yourself first and foremost, and do not do it to the environment and the animals. What you are doing is absolute destruction on every single level. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. So we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo or even raw. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.